There are no barriers or red lines to the spirit of creativity. Our story is real, and its protagonist is a man who was born disabled in Kurdistan. He grew up in a society struggling with war, forced displacement, imprisonment, and genocide. Despite these difficult conditions, nothing could stop of this man from becoming an artist. He developed his talent and art with only three mobile fingers and aimed deteriorating health as he gets older. This is a true story of art, persistence, support from a family and community. A story of unstoppable creativity. My name is Tayyip Mutasam Aziz. I was born in 1975 in a village called Salan near Rwanda's in Erbil Governorate. I was born physically disabled, but my disability has worsened over time. Like all children, I had had many hobbies, one of which was photography. But over time, as my disability worsened, I lost the ability to take pictures. My career as an artist goes back to the late 80s, when I took part in an art exhibition in Soran, where some of my paintings were shown. People who attended the gallery said my paintings were good, and other artists there encouraged me to concentrate on developing my style. Finally, I opened my own exhibition here in Rwanda. To be honest, I was afraid that my art was not good enough to be shown. But I got a lot of support from my friends and fellow artists. Now, I have held 10 exhibitions and one photographic exhibition. Over the years, I have participated in about 27 art festivals. When I started working as an artist, I worked from home. As you know, it's difficult to work at home with no tools or assistance, especially in Kurdistan. In order to accomplish my dreams, my family supported me to continue in my career and with my dreams to be an artist. I also received assistance from the SACH, the Soran Association for the Care of Handicaps with tools to work and with transportation assistance. I am Abdul Wahid Gwani and I founded the SACH. I have worked as the volunteer director of the SACH for the last 13 years. My goal is to make life a little easier for persons with disabilities in the Triangle, Iraq, Iran and Turkey. Tayyip is one of our cases. He currently just has use of three of his fingers to create his art. We understand that persons with disabilities struggle with transportation in Kurdistan and in Iraq. And this is truly one of their biggest hindrances to their participation in our society. We gave Tape an electric wheelchair so he can freely move between his home to work each day without difficulty. SACH has also invested in his amazing gift as an artist. Tape told us that he wanted to further develop his gift, show it to others and to make money from it. SACH has provided him assistance in developing his talents and now we hold a permanent exhibition of his work at our headquarters where any visitor can view and purchase his artwork.
We also sent his paintings to Holland for a gallery showing, and his work received a good response. The SACH is committed to helping him as with just his three fingers. He shows the world immense love, pain, beauty, and the possibility that we can one day live together in peace. If I worked in another job, a life may have been easier for me, but my work is a spiritual thing, and not everyone has the soul of an artist. I have always wanted to show the world that a person with disabilities can be of great benefit to their society. Right now, only one of my fingers is working 100%, but otherwise I cannot move my body, and yet I continue to create art. It's my passion in life. Beside art, I have other passions and work as well. I am a collector of antique and vintage photographs of Rwandese and Kurdistan, of which I have many in my private collection. I also design books. I have currently designed about 30 to 35 book titles, 15 of which are already published. The others are on the way to be printed. The program I am opening now is Photoshop. I do most of my work on Photoshop and this program has made my life much easier. Photoshop is my hands because with just one finger I can do editing, cleaning and design with my book covers. This is my Facebook page. I think it is a good page with many photos of my artwork and information about me and my artwork. I have many photo albums of my friends, my home, Rwandese and of the Peshmerga until 1991. What I want to leave you with is this idea to all citizens, organizations and the Kurdistan regional government. Please help persons with disabilities in your community. Support us and our dreams. Let us participate and contribute to our society and ensure that all persons with disabilities have equal access to transportation. As you can see, we have a lot to give to.